Those of you who watch my video blog will know that yacht builders are offering more and more models designed to be as eco-friendly as possible, consuming as little as possible and traveling as far as possible with a full tank. However, there are still yacht builders out there producing yachts designed to go very, very quickly indeed and that look fantastic. Here are three of the best. Named after the Pershing missile, this company has never compromised on performance. Up until this year, the largest yacht of their fleet was the Pershing 115, a 35 meter long, exquisitely designed Italian masterpiece, offering the height of luxury inside, but when ordered with titanium gas turbines, she is capable of 55 knots of top speed. That's 63 miles per hour on the water in an object the size of a small mansion. The Pershing 115 has now been retired from the fleet and the builder offers a range that jumps from its 108 foot that's in production to a 140 foot model that's being developed with a view to launching the first unit in 2018. Hull number one has already been sold and it's no surprise that the owner has opted for the most powerful possible engine option. Four MTU 2,600 horsepower engines totaling over 10,000 horsepower. This will combine with hydrojets to propel this enormous testimony to Italian design to a top speed of 38 knots. I do have a very special affinity with Pershing. I was invited on the first ever sea trial of the Pershing 115 when it was launched along with some very wealthy yacht owners. We took the boat off of the coast of Cannes and the captain put it into some really tight curves. So much so that below deck, the whole side window emerged under the water. I've never seen so many high net worth individuals with such big grins on their faces. It reminded me of the first time I ever went go-kart racing or any other time I've been go-kart racing for that matter. Pershing do build a yacht that is fun to own, but they've never lost sight of the importance of building to a very high level of quality. It would be impossible to talk about high performance super yachts though without talking about Mangusta. Built by the Overmarine shipyard in Viareggio on the west coast of Italy, this shipyard has consistently built an incredibly successful range of large yachts that focus on speed and high performance. They have delivered a total of 12 165 foot Mangusta yachts, each one with a winning combination of luxury interiors and oceans of sunbathing space on deck. The engine options recently changed so that like the Pershing 140, they have four MTU engines totaling over 10,000 horsepower and hydrojets, giving a top speed of close to 40 knots. That's 46 miles per hour, which let me tell you, feels pretty quick when you're on the sea on an object this big. Mangusta offer a range that varies from 72 foot to a whopping 215 foot. Not much information is available on this yacht yet, although we're likely to see it on the water in 2020 and can be sure that we'll have an impressive top speed. I've spent quite a lot of time in and around Mangustas this year and not only to produce the video of Da Vinci, which you can see if you look at the link which should appear on screen round about now, but also have a friend who's a captain of another Mangusta 165. So I was able to take a look at his yacht too. And I was so impressed at the way that Overmarine can take one uniform shape of a 165 foot yacht and change the interior so much from one boat to another to satisfy the requirements of their clients. They produce one or two units of this particular model every year and they will always sell them, even if they have a 30 million euro price tag. The final yacht in the list of powerful go-fast super yachts is the unmistakable Wally Power. This 118-foot super yacht looked like nothing seen before or after and was extreme in all senses, both its radical, almost modern military design and above all its top speed. Three Vericor TF50 gas turbines producing a total of 16,800 horsepower drove a Rolls-Royce Kamiwa water jet to reach an incredible top speed of 65 knots. That's almost 75 miles an hour. 
The interiors of this yacht were very, very minimal indeed, and Wally had great difficulty selling the unit after it had been built. In fact, there was only ever one of these built. All of those yachts are also available in smaller versions. I just chose the largest versions because they're the most spectacular and visually impressive to look at. There's also a growing market for Pershings and for Mangustas that are on the brokerage market. That is pre-owned yachts. And there's a growing number of people looking to buy them too. Two things to look out for next week. First of all, I'll be publishing my first ever Rewind video. That's a review of everything that's happened on the Yachts for Sale channel in 2017, including one of my bloopers. Uh, but also at the end of the month, I'll be sending out my Inside Info newsletter. Now that's a newsletter that goes to my subscribers where I contain information that I don't necessarily talk about on my YouTube channel. So there should be links to subscribe to both of those things on screen right now. Make sure that you do click on them if you don't want to miss out on information from the Super Yacht world.